Uh, hello, my name is Jan and I would like to show you some basic features in uh, Furryball. Just the first of all, uh, we need to load plugin and make some uh, some first render node with the default node. So and now we create some uh, some uh, simple scene. So now we make the uh, spotlight. So here in features, we need to turn on the shadows feature. And now in Maya, you can you can reduce the resolution of of shadow, the color and intensity and other features, you know. So just we need add the uh, furball light attribute. You can rename it if you like. Here you can turn on type of the uh, shadows and number of samples. Uh, this attribute will turn on soft shadows. So we will create some uh, some other material. Blend, for example, we will put put on it some some texture. Uh, so you see that there is nothing in Furryball. So every features you like, uh, you must turn on. Now we will we will turn on the shadows, the, sorry, the textures and bump mapping, for example. Now we will we will add some some bump to our object. Here you see everything is in real time, and you can reduce the the bump depth and other features. So we will create the another ball. And you can put the hair on it, for example. Now we will see there is nothing nothing seen. We, we will need just turn on again the hair features. Here you will find some uh, some some hair node, and there is there is many parameters for hair. For example, tip color, root color, the density. scale land and many other many other parameters so now now we will see that uh, we have not so much sample in the in the scene so we will we will add some uh, some more samples S more samples to render and you will see the the picture looks much more smoother. Also, you can turn on uh, the filtering. For example, uh, use the Gauss and there's a radius and the filter variation. If you will use the, the high value for the samples, the scene will be, of course, much more slower. Now we will make some reflect object. So we will create another ball and make uh, other other blend material. And we will add mesh attribute, variable mesh attribute. 
and there is uh, there is a reflection uh, reflection settings we will turn on reflect map and you will turn on uh, and write down the resolution of map Now we will add use to parameters and again the turn on reflection in features. And now we will see very nice reflection in real time. This reflection is baked, but you will you can turn on the reflection on dynamic and you will see there is everything uh, in dynamic on the ball. We can create the the reflection on the on the ground and you you can add the mesh attribute we will make the new attribute because uh, we need the planar reflection here we can add use to many parameters here like uh, reflection color and uh, everything like in Maya, and there is uh, some some other features, uh, special in Furibol, for example, the filter, the blur of the reflection, and uh, uh, you can make the the saturation of reflection, and some other very nice features. Uh, now. We will we will create a transparency object with refraction. So we will we will add material attribute on the ball, and there is a there is a transparency and refraction settings. So we we will have to say for a ball that we want turn on again transparency and refraction and now you see object with this transparency and refraction and in the material attribute uh, you can uh, you can uh, set up set up uh, refraction as you like it Now you will see we have we have two samples here, and the scene is not so much fast. So we will go back to to the settings and change change samples to to one for for better uh, better real time. So it was it was the very 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 basic tutorial how to use uh, Furibol. So thank you, thank you for attention and we will, we will see on next tutorial.